As the wildfires continued to devastate that state, Dementia Joe later found on a beach drinking a Mai Tai. You gotta say hi to me. Back in D.C., he decided to stop at an ice cream shop. She was 12, I was 30, but anyway. And talk with little girls. What? Kids jumping on my lap. And I've loved kids jumping on my lap. I'm Jazz Bergonzo, and this. That's fucked up, man. Is what's next. What's up, everyone? Jazz Bergonzo, what's next? Your daily dose. Happy Thursday. Joe Dementia. Wonderful Joe Biden. Sloppy Joe, Uncle Joe, you know, whatever Joe you want to call him. The commander in chief, the fearless leader of our wonderful country, who is loved by the entire world, you know, because China and Russia aren't laughing at him or anything. Hawaii, you still have a situation going on with the devastation regarding the wildfires and, of course, made worse by hurricane winds. Well over 100 people are dead and they're still going through the ruins. There's still many hot spots going on. So um, it's just, wow. So I did a video just a few days ago regarding where was Joe Dementia, you know, where in the world was Carmen San Diego? Where in the world was Joe Dementia and all this? Well, he was on a beach drinking a Mai Tai in Rehoboth, Delaware, back home. So after he woke up from his long weekend nap, he went back to D.C., you know, and to conduct the nation's business of doing absolutely nothing and taking more naps. He decided to take a walk down to the local ice cream shop and to have some wonderful ice cream. But as he did so, he happened to see some young children and um, he decided to have a little chat. And here we go. This comes out of Bipart. Biden tells children, I know great ice cream places nearby. Talk to me afterwards. Yeah, because again, there's nothing pedo about this. President Joe Dementia opened his remarks at the White House Wednesday by telling children in attendance he knows great ice cream places nearby and to come see him after his speech. Biden took to the podium in the East Room at White House to tout the Inflation Reduction Act, which has been a total clusterfuck for the United States, but who cares, uh, aka the American Gets Over Act, which does not reduce inflation despite its moniker and passed Congress on partisan lines last year. But before he began, he told audiences, I want to say one thing to your children. I want to say one thing to your children. I know some really great ice cream places around here. And Daddy owes you. So talk to me afterwards. I know some really great ice cream places around here. Daddy owes you. So talk to me afterwards. Biden has already raved about ice cream immediately after taking the podium in the past. In March, he opened his comments about gun control and Nashville Christian school shooting by talking about ice cream, and of course, jokingly, it incited him uh, and enticed him downstairs. My name is Joe Biden. I'm Dr. Joe Biden's husband. This was during and I ate Jenny's ice cream, chocolate chip. Right after the Nashville I came Christian down because shooting, where chocolate chip ice cream. By the way, I have a whole kids and adults were shot because of a trans lunatic. After his off the cuff remarks on Wednesday, Biden, blo blo I'm sorry, Biden boasted of the Inflation Reduction Act and Bidenomics. The Financial Times and Wall Street Journal initially called my plans Bidenomics. I'm not sure what they meant in, totally, uh, in a totally complimentary way at the time, but guess what? It's working. Yes, it is working, all right. While Biden leans into terms and uh, leans into the term and has used the tout legislation like Inflation Reduction Act, Chips and Science Act, vulnerable House Democrats, including Representative Susan Wilde, Geb. Uh, Gabby Vasquez, are not embracing the term as Breitbart News reported. If you use the term Bidenomics, but someone can't afford the groceries, and they're like, yeah, Bidenomics isn't working for me. My thoughts quickly on this. Once again, Dementia Joe opens his mouth, shoves both legs down his throat. 
The fact of the matter is, is that this guy cannot be anywhere near where children are present. None. So for him to be touting off and spouting off his pedoism is, again, continually to be disgusting. Absolute vomitous that anyone, any parent would have any kids near this old dude. But yet Sloppy Joe continues to be Sloppy Joe and continues to be the up that he always is. And with that being said, I'm Jasper Gonzo. This is What's Next. If you want to see more like this, please leave a comment below. Like it, share it, subscribe to it, hit the notification bell so you guys never miss a thing. And we'll see you next time. Peace.